Hello, uh, today we're going to be installing a battery charger. There's the new battery charger that I've got here. Uh, it's a 24 volt, 12 volt charger, smart charger, 16 amps. Right, let's go for it. Um, I've got two 12 volt batteries over here. They connected in such a way they need to give me 24 volts because this is a 24 volt um, this engine requires 24 volt to start the starter motor. So basically here we've got the positive terminal, negative, we've got a positive and a negative. So what they've done here, they've joined the negative and the positive to give you 24 volts. Rule of thumb, whenever you're connecting a battery charger, you connect the terminals of the charger to the battery. Let's open this box out and see our new toys. There we go. Looks very flashy. Made in China. Oh, need some assembly, but let's do that quickly. It didn't take us too long. There's the crocodile jaws here. I'm just undoing this quickly. Right, because it's a 24 volt battery, I mean, it, uh, the setup is 24 volts, you're gonna have to connect your crocodile jaws across both sets, both ends. So, this is the positive. So you put your positive on your crocodile jaw on the positive on the side, there, and the negative on the opposite end, as you can see, that's the negative. It's gonna go there. All right, we've got that. Now, we need to connect the charger to the connector here on this side. You can see it's a very special one. You cannot make a mistake. It has to go in this particular way. So let's do this quickly. There we go. This is going to go in like this. Positive with negative, male and female. There we go. Connected. Now we've got the battery charger here. There's a jobby. In goes the mains, and there we go. We've got the battery charger that's on. There we go, it's already charging. It's a smart charger, so it's gonna do its test. It's gonna do, it'll find the fluctuations and all of that in the battery and detect. It's detected as a 24 volt, as I was saying. Now it's doing its checks here and it'll tell you if there's an error, it should make a beeping sound or something of some sort if there's an error. It's on a quick charge, there, and here it's got its stages. It'll go one all the way up to nine, depending on, depending on what's wrong. So you actually want it to come up to the end. On this side, I think it's stage nine. That's when the battery will be fully charged. I trust this video was beneficial and thank you for watching. Hope to see you soon. Cheers.